Down for whatever. Who's Let's ready? get it. Let's talk about today. Let's talk about We talking about practice. <laughs> I'm practice. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so it's Saturday. Um, we got warm up at 3 p.m., which is in a couple hours from now. So just kind of relaxing. The car's already been nut and bolted by the team. So not really a whole lot to uh, going on right now besides uh, trying to fix the trailer because unfortunately we had a blowout and it got the airbag. So trying to locate an airbag, it's being kind of difficult to locate one. Um, other than that, uh, everything's been going well. Cars had zero issues. Um, it's just put some fuel in it, nut and bolt it after each uh, day, and change the tires. So uh, pretty thankful for that. Um, gonna go uh, do some good practice laps, hopefully. Not do anything too crazy to kind of stay conservative. Um, and then for battles, we're just gonna send it 100%. Um, it's been something I've been thinking about, though, because uh, round one, round two, we both had, we've, I've ended up with some contact and one's went my favor, one's not went my favor. So it's a, uh, you know, questioning whether or how hard you should go, but I think in all in all, we should just go 100% um, and try to get us a win, get in the top 16 and see if we can make it farther into the bracket than we have so far. Um, unfortunately for Simon Olsen though, our teammate, um, he had to go through some, uh, the ladder eight uh, bracket um, yesterday in the knockout qualifying. And uh, during the live stream, it showed that he was qualified for 31st um, due to being a tiebreaker with three people. But um, unfortunately, it seems like there were some weird things that went on in the rule book wasn't adhered by. And uh, unfortunately, he's not in it today, but um, that really sucks. But uh, hopefully he'll come back swinging for New Jersey. Um, but yeah, overall, we feel good and comfortable. Hopefully we'll uh, bring one home for the team. Okay, anything specific for Taylor Hall? Uh, he has an, he initiates and swings down way low. So I don't know. I think I might try to play with a couple cars back on the start line and just get a slight roll and kind of hang back and let him do his thing. So maybe I can get a quick jab right in on initiation and get on his door early and, um, and stay on him. We'll kind of see, we'll play it by ear. Obviously I get the lead first, um, which to most people is good in our situation. I don't really care to lead first. Um, here the track's pretty hard on the tires. Um, I kind of think chasing on brand new tires is a advantage, but um, we're just going to do a conservative lead run. Obviously a good lead run, but not overcook it like we did in qualifying. You know, obviously that was for um, try to keep the tire wear to a minimum in the lead lap and uh, do a small burnout and everything. Make sure the tire wear is not too much. So when I chase, I have that uh, ability to surge and be on his door really hard through the last turn and not get gapped. So we'll see how it goes. with a warm up right before competition, uh, before top 32. Um, did two laps just like normal. And I uh, had Matt Phil chase me. I was doing a lead first like I normally will be in competition. So we wanted to try to mimic the best we can when we go battle against Taylor. Um, and Phil, I knew Phil was on me and knew he was a good driver. So I, and I laid down a phenomenal lead lap with Phil. Um, and so I didn't lift and uh, it just ate the tires up really bad in one lap. So. And we're, our wheel speed's not even that crazy. So we obviously need, maybe need some more grip in the car or something to try and dial that back. But unfortunately, we don't even have that many tires left. So we're probably not gonna get any more laps uh, this practice uh, or this warm up. 
um, but we're gonna have to do something. Probably no no burnout before my lead run against Taylor. Uh, may give me a little bit slower on the run up, but uh, if, it, if it'll give me something that I have for the chase, then obviously I need to I need to have that so I can be aggressive in the chase and uh, not lose a battle if I can throw down a good lead lap. So you should have got the clip earlier when I said it. What'd you say? It's gonna be the cheapest win of my career because it's about to rain. It ain't gonna cost me nothing in rubber. Water? Water for you, sir. Drink water. Water is important. Don't yell at me yet, Pops. No. You want sweet tea? No, we're about to eat some greasy pizza. I got Papa John's. Oh, we got the good stuff. I got the good <laughs> Okay, so what do you think? Uh, I think we got a good car. I think it's set up good. I think he's getting comfortable in it. I think we got a good chance of doing good. Good. What do you think? I'm not doing anything even. What are, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's drying up and it should be just like practice. Great. Yep. So. Jonathan Hurst and Full Pull Pull. Papa Diddy Pop, proud of Pride of Paducah. Jonathan Hurst at AZ Rags BMW. Now. Here we go. This is Jonathan Hurst, AZ Rags BMW, that Comp Cam GT Rail Radio, Gale Speed Racing. Here we go. That is Full Pull Taylor Hole. Whoa, look at that. Jonathan Hurst, Taylor Hole. Kentucky versus Georgia, man. Coming down to that first inside clip. Taylor Hole dives in on the inside, tries to take an aggressive line. Both of them taking out. Oh, little correction there from Jonathan Hurst. That might hurt him. It allows Taylor Hole to get close. Man, absolute Cowboys right now. That was a very fast. That was fast, ripping. High I energy think, run. I think the track's drying up. What do you, here we go with the second half. Of the, what is, oh man, look at this. He's like, oh, I know who I'm going against. He's got this that, full pull hole. He's got that I'm gonna start it. He's just pulling that slingshot back. And clean start, here we go. Second half of this battle, Taylor Hole. The comp camera's back, he says he's feeling good, liking the car, and no reason why he shouldn't win battle. But Jonathan Hurst, who has been really amazing and tremendous, just thrashing in the Pro Championship. He drops the wheel, doesn't overcook it. So again, drying out. We saw Paul overcook it to overshoot. And now it looks like Taylor Hole, that Comp Camp GT Radio vet, comes unbound across the finish line. Orlando, come on, let him hear ya. Here we go, slide up left for Hurst, right for Taylor Hole. And full pull, Taylor Hole. Gets the win. The pride of Paducah, a great effort there by Jonathan Hurst. You wanna talk about it now? Oh, I don't care. All right, so? Oh, uh, well, I mean, unfortunately we got knocked out, but uh, track conditions weren't ideal. They were a little slick in some spots, but uh, it wasn't terrible. 
Um, I just made a mistake when I'm in my chase run. I had a decent lead, but I got caught uh, right at, after entered clip two. Uh, there's a really, really slick spot, and it threw a little bit more angle than more than normal. I had a bobble there, which hurt my lead. And then the chase, I just uh, I thought he was going to be a lot faster, honestly, on the initiation or after we initiated. But as soon as we initiated, I seen the smoke coming from his front tire, so he just left or braked, and I couldn't I couldn't stay up up, up there uh, without um, dropping down a little bit and using a little bit shallower angle um, to not have to check up too much and lose proximity. And then coming off the bank, I just uh, transitioned a little bit early and dropped the tire, which is what really got us in the hitting in the clip too. Um, man, it's my fault, so it is what it is. Like and subscribe? No, like and subscribe. <laughs>